Let's take a look on how to work with the mouse in Arcade. So first of all I'm going to the documentation and if I scroll down under the Arcade Package API you find the window class. And in the window class you will find the mouse methods, so the on mouse drag. So you should over override this function to add mouse button functionality. And to the on mouse drag, the first argument is the X position, the second argument is the mouse Y position, and the DX and the DY, which should be the delta X and the delta Y, so change in X since the last, since the last time this method was called, and also change in Y since the last time this method was called, and also the button and the modifiers. We have also the on mouse motion, the on mouse press, and the on mouse release. And of course, we have one more, the on-mouse scroll. And these methods are inherited from the Piglet uh, mouse window mouse uh, functionalities. So if you go to the Piglet documentation and you find here working with the mouse, if you open up, you will find the same methods. So on-mouse motion. Here it is on mouse motion, the same arguments, so x, y, dx, dy, x, y, dx, dy. Here is on mouse press, on mouse release, on mouse drag, and we have also on mouse scroll, and we have two more functionalities, the on mouse enter and the on mouse leave. So what should happen if your mouse enters the window, and what should happen if your mouse leaves the window. And uh, so let's take a look at uh, the on mouse press, where it is, on mouse drag, on mouse motion, on mouse press. So we are going to override the on mouse press here. Uh, for now I just have four, I mean three circles, a green, a blue and a yellow outlined circle. I created these uh, member variables, so for, for the green x, green y, blue x, blue y, yellow x, yellow y, and these are just, a, just the positions of this circle and here I am drawing these three circles and now let's override the on underscore mouse on, I should probably uh, so on mouse press and I'm going to delete these types from here so as you can see it has a press X and a press Y and a button which button was pressed and the modifiers. So if you hold down let's say the uh, control or the shift or the alt key. And in the on mouse press we can ask which mouse button was pressed. So the left, the middle or the right mouse button and I'm going to do that. So if button equals equals arcade dot mouse button left. So if the left mouse button is pressed I'm going to move the green X. So the green X new new position will be the X, uh, the mouse X. And also the green uh, Y new position will be the mouse Y. So if I run this, now when I press the left mouse button, the green circle just jumps to the mouse button position. I mean the mouse uh, pointer position. And let's do this for the right and with the right mouse button now if I press the right uh, mouse button nothing happens or also when I press the middle mouse button nothing happens. So let's do this for the for the mouse button right mouse button right and if the mouse button right is pressed I'm going to move the blue X and the blue Y. So blue X equals X and uh, blue y will be equal to the y position. So now I'm moving the green circle with the left button and I'm moving the blue circle with the right mouse button. And I'm also going to move this outline circle using the on mouse motion. So here it is the on a mouse motion method. So it has a float x, a float y, a dx and a dy. 
Okay, so let's override this method. So def on mouse motion. On mouse motion, I'm going to move the self dot uh, yellow yellow x to the position of the mouse x, and also the self dot yellow y to the position of the mouse y position. Okay, and now the circle, the uh, yellow circle moves with the mouse. And if I press, it moves the, I mean, if I press the left bu mouse button, it moves the green circle to the position of uh, the mouse or mouse po pointer. And also with the right mouse button, it moves the blue circle. As a bonus information, I'm just going to create a method for smooth movement of this uh, yellow outline circle, so it won't uh, follow the uh, mouse pointer instantaneously, but it will just follow the mouse pointer smoothly. So let's uh, implement this functionality, and for this I'm going to create two more member variables. One will be the velocity x, and I'm going to set it to zero, and I'm also going to create a velocity y, which will start at zero. And now, in the on mouse motion, instead of setting the yellow x equals x, I'm going to set the self.velocity x equals x and self.velocity y equals y. And I'm going to create a new method. And let's call it, I don't know, move circle. And the first thing I'm going to need in this move circle let's call it move yellow circle the first thing i'm going to calculate here is the uh, distance between the velocity x and the yellow x so i'm going to create a, a local variable called x distance so x distance equals the self uh, self dot um, velocity x minus self dot yellow x and do this for the y distance. So y distance equals cell dot velocity y minus self dot yellow y. Let's calculate the distance using the distance formula. And for that, I'm going to import the square root function. So from mat, mat, import the sqrt or the square root. So here in the move yellow circle, I'm going to create a distance local variable, which will be the return value of the square root of uh, x distance squared, so x distance times x distance, and plus the y distance squared, so y distance times y distance. And uh, here I'm just going to ask, ask so if uh, distance is bigger than 1, I'm going to move the self that yellow x self that yellow x plus equals the x distance, and this multiplied by a small number, let's say 0.1, and do this for the yellow y plus equals the y distance multiplied by 0.1, and now let's let's see it. And yes. Uh, I forgot to call this move yellow circle in the on update method. So here I'm going to just call self that uh, move yellow circle. And now, as you can see, the yellow circle follows the mouse much more smoothly. So it doesn't follow it uh, instantaneously. Just, but if I move uh, the mouse faster also follows faster but when I move slower it just it just has much more smoother movement and one more thing to actually add to this so this method move yellow circle is called in the on update which runs at 60 uh, 60 times in a second so at 60 frames per second and calling 60 times the square root function is not very efficient. So we can do this a little bit better, more, more efficiently using uh, the power function. So instead of 
instead of calculating the square root, we can do distance. I'm going to comment this out. And the distance will be equal to the power of... I'm going to copy this. So, x distance squared plus y distance squared and raise this to the power of 0.5. So this does the same as the square root function. If you if you just if you just if you just raised something to the power of 0.5, it is the same as taking the square root. But uh, raising to the power is much faster um, operation than taking a square root of a number. And as you can see, it has the same result. But now our program is a little bit more efficient.